I mean, if you, no, 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 if you prefer without the camera, we can ask it's them. It's fine, it's fine. Um, he revealed... Sorry, I'm telling people, I guess, telling people to repent, turn away from sin, to repent, be, um, to believe, to believe in God, um, and that he was telling... The main thing I was going to say, he's telling that he's going to die on the cross. When? For he told the disciples, didn't he? He said to them, the ones that he, he said that there's certain things he's going to reveal to certain people. So certain people didn't get the message. So he, what he revealed to the disciples was that he was going to go and die on the cross. He didn't say that to what, the disciples once. What I'm asking you for, what I'm asking you, what I'm asking you for, is not to his chosen elected individuals like a secret community, to the people. People need to know who he is. Whether they be common people, fishermen, whether it be the Roman centurions, you know, we need to know the common people at large need to know this individual who's now here, who is he, what is his mission, and what we should react to to his mission. What we see instead, people are saying, Wow, a mighty healer has come. Let us take our blind, our sick, a person afflicted with leprosy, with disease, let us take him to him and he will heal them and Praise God for this man healing. If this is what people are reacting to, then it becomes obvious to us, he's not making a claim he's someone special about being either God or son of God, whatever. No, we need to know from people. What did the people understand who he is? People's reaction is he's a prophet who's come to do mighty wonders and miracles, approved by God so that we can praise God. Right? But just because some people said that this, that's their perspective, okay. doesn't mean that Why did right the people have that perspective? They might have thought he was because he was doing, he was doing healings. He was, okay. Know? Did they hear him saying who he was? Did he declare to the people, I am X, Y, and Z? If you go back to the Old Testament. No, we can't, we can't, we, we can't 100% say he didn't no. declare. Do you what, know what, I mean? what did he declare to the people? Many things. Um, okay. Many did he declare that he was God on earth? That people should worship him. That he was the God of Israel. That he is Yahweh. Explicitly, by the way. Yeah, because if you go to the Old Testament times, God of the Jewish nation explicitly said, I am God. There is no God before me, besides me. There's no one else. Worship me alone. Worship me. That is an explicit message of God in the Old Testament times. If Jesus was somehow linked with being divine, what did he declare to the people? Why would he not have declared it as well if he was divine? Yeah. Well, if it's so key to your salvation, you know, these things are so clear. God makes them clear so that on the day of judgment, there'd be no argument that it wasn't clear. Because in fact, people asked him, tell me who you are. Exactly. Who are you? And then he answered. Did they take from them that, oh, this is God on earth. Be careful what you say, because he's going to turn you into nothing if he wants to. Just like that, he'll turn into a potato or, or, or a frog or whatever it might be, because he's God on earth. Did they have that perception? Did his disciples have that perception? Did his enemies have that perception? Because anyone who knew truly, because he explained to himself, they would not even say anything against him because God on earth, even that is even possible, that God comes down as a man and so on on this earth. But this is not what we see in history. People's reaction and perception was different. Yeah, because so what did you find that, so far? That's what man. That's what I'm just finding. That's what man is like. You know, we. It's like we, we want to understand God so badly, but a lot of times we actually miss out who God actually is and what He's trying to tell people. Yeah. So why, why does it say broad is the, broad is the way to destruction, but narrow is the way to God? Sure. You know, because many people are lost. Many people are deceived. There's a devil in this world mm -hmm. that is blinding the eyes of people. Great. Mm -hmm. And so you need God to, you need to, God to, to explicitly to say eyes. his message yeah. without any ambiguity. In a way that you will understand it. Because God, okay, God speaks, in clarity, God, God simple speaks, clarity. God speaks to everybody differently. No, God should declare his message in no, clear... No, are you saying God should? Are you God to say God should? Okay, imagine now God sent you as prophet and the discussion that we had for so far, did you understand that he's a prophet of God? No one did because you made no such claim. If God's intention or his plan was that you are here as a prophet of God, you need to make it clear and open yeah, so to if everyone. A, if a lion steps foot here, does the lion have to say I'm a lion? It's a poor analogy to make. If a lion comes here, then people are obviously, no, not people, all the others, that this is a dangerous animal. So if 
a person like Christ is here, it is not obvious as a human being that you're God. Do, do you look like God? Do you look like a son of God in any way, shape or form? You don't. So when Jesus was, one second, one second. When Jesus was here on this earth, did he in any way, shape or form look like God? People said, ah, oh. exactly. According to the Jewish people, according to the Jewish people who Jesus was sent to, well, some part, some specific group of Jewish people, not all of them, they don't think God is like an European with black, blonde hair, blue eyes, or a Palestinian like Jesus. Right. So they would not have taken Jesus Christ as God anyway, or Son of God. So it is important for that individual to make it clear who he is and what his mission is, his message is. Why, why, why did this, why, what, because even, even the disciples, his inner group, they didn't fully get the revelation of God themselves as well until Jesus fulfilled what he had to do on the cross and then they, they, they start receiving the Holy Spirit and then they, they understand all the things that he said. You know sometimes your parents, when you're younger, they say something to you, you don't understand it there and then. But as you get older and you go through life, then you begin to understand what they've said. And that's the same thing with God. There's God a, is speaking many times. There's a slight problem with this. We're not listening, we're not hearing. And I pray hopefully one day that you all we know Jesus Christ because there's a slight Jesus problem with this analogy when God sends a prophet and a messenger he sends it primarily initially to the disciple the people of that time he's not gonna send to someone and they had no clue who he was and five billion or million or one thousand years later say ah oh, he's a prophet of God it serves no purpose because the purpose of sending a prophet to a nation is to correct them guide them, instruct them to holiness and righteousness and say this is right, this is wrong, this is true, this is falsehood because they need to be saved themselves. So if Christ came and no one knew who he was, how they can even follow his message? So it is not really sensible. Okay, what did people know who he was? What did people think who he was? So when he, when he died on the cross... No, when he was alive, during his teachings that people received, what were their perception and understanding about him? Well, some people thought he's a prophet, some people thought he's a rabbi, some people so, I mean, Why? Some people said he's a son of God. Why? None of them thought he was God. That's, that's fine, it doesn't No, mean why? Why do they have wrong impression? If he because truly we is... Often, we often get God wrong. That's no, the, no, that's no, 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 I'm trying to, I'm, no, no, no. If a lion, if a lion, just to take his example, if a lion, if a lion... It's true, because when you look at no. God, when you, okay, because... If, if a lion let's, came here, even are you going to think, oh, this is look like Islam, a deer to me? When you look at Islam, look, no, don't, look, when you look at Islam, the majority of the world are not Islam, are they? So, so many people are deceived. Do you get what I'm saying? That's no, many people are not learning about Islam. That's why they don't know. For it's example, same, if you don't know anything about thing. it. If you, don't, if you don't seek Jesus Christ, wait, wait, if wait. you don't ask him into your life. It's not about seeking. Him, no, it is about seeking. No, about we are talking seeking. about the when people you seek him, you Jesus was interacting with. They're not going to sit there and think, oh, let me contemplate who he was. Yeah. Jesus is to declare. Why would they not contemplate who he is? This did, guy's healing the sick, did he, he's raising the dead, and he's what, casting out devil, never seen, who never did seen he, before. Who, who did permission. he say he was? It, do, it doesn't matter whose permission. I'm who, telling you what he was doing. No, who did he say he was? He said before Abraham, I am. And what did they think what it means? They thought he's blaspheming God. No, they did not. They thought he's blaspheming no, God, so they picked, no, up stones. No. they picked up stones to throw at him. At one point, Jesus Christ actually made a defense. That defense will be there until the end of the world if the Bible is still there. They wanted to blas crucify him, kill him, because he blasphemed. He says, for what reason? He even then said, okay, fine. Isn't it written in your law that you are called Elohim, Ben Elion, you are called Elohim, sons of the Most High? And I didn't say, I didn't say, except I am Ben Elion or son of God. So why do you want to stone me? So he even said in your scripture, Psalms 82, God identifies or calls human judges as Elohim. And if you, he identifies and calls human beings as judges that you are God's Elohim. If you're one of them and you came to the people, I am Elohim, they can't say you're blaspheming because God calls them so. But it doesn't make them God. They would understand it doesn't mean God. Jesus said, I didn't even say that so that you can be confused. I said, I am a Ben Elion, son of Elion, son of God. Like you are son of God, you are son of God. 
Ephraim is son of God, David is son of God, Solomon is son of God, Adam is son of God. No, 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 no. He clearly mentioned this phrase, son of God. It has nothing to do with divinity. Son of God is a term. Son of God to the people is a righteous individual. That's them. Remember, we're talking about historical time frame when he was interacting with people. They knew son of God is not someone who is God and worthy of worship and so on. Yeah, it means a righteous person. Righteous person. So when he responded to them, they had nothing else to say in return. He rebutted them, debunked their claim. So the Bible does not in any way demonstrate from a historical narrative that Jesus was walking as God on earth. Instead, he was identifying who the true God was. He said, the one up there, worship him. Oh, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. And he also said, I am the way. Wait, wait, wait. We'll, we'll address that. When it comes to identifying God, who did he say? Your will be done. Your kingdom come. So, did he make it clear who you should worship? Up there, the one in heaven. Yes, but when, when, did, the, when the disciples before, bow before, down on their knees and were bowing down worshiping him, one at a time. Why, as a prophet, what, all you saying is a why did he just reject them? No, no, let, to, let's, to let's take that. Okay, okay. we'll address that, inshallah, one at a time. He said, he said, he said, no problem. I know she has to go take you. No problem. Just give us a few minutes. When he says, this is eternal life, that they, my disciples and everyone else, they should know. You, the Father, you are the only true God, and I am the one you have sent me. He made it abundantly clear, without any ambiguity. The only true God is not three persons, as the Christians say. Not three persons, because Father is not three persons. How many persons is the Father? Just to be clar cl clarify that point. The Father is how, how many persons is the Father himself? Father. How many persons is the Father? What do you mean by how many persons? Okay, you are one person. Yeah. The Son, Jesus Christ, is one person. Okay. The Father is one person. Yeah. So when Christ says the only true God is the Father, that's identifying the Father being one person. Yeah, but you, you understand one, you're, you're talking about oneness in a different way. Do you have a family? Wait, 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 wait. No, wait. Do wait. you have a family? This, do you have a family? I do, I do. That's one family. One family. But there's different persons within that family. Right. You get what how, how many you people to, in the family? You need to understand the difference between a, a different kind of oneness. Good. There's a different understanding. So there are many gods together in one. one person. So we, we got to that. Mean, oneness could, is marriage. What does it so, say? The two shall become one. They one, one. So one dispute that. Two people, yeah. but they're one. So what kind so, of oneness are we yeah, talking Yeah, but about still, so still. You need to understand that there's different concepts of oneness. You know what? I agree with you. And I'll tell you why I agree with you. You believe in three gods working together as one family. No, I believe they are one. I, I believe what the scriptures say. One family. They're Did I say one. two family? No, no, no. I said one they are one. one. No, one family. No, it doesn't say that in our scriptures. Okay. But they are one. do you agree father These and son? Okay. Do you agree father and son is a family? No, I believe they are one. That's what I believe. Do you agree father and son, mother and daughter, this is family? Oh, you, you talk about in just... No, talk general. about the concepts, relationship. Father, so father and son, son is a family. You believe in father and the son and the Holy Spirit. That's a family. So you believe in how many families? Three? No. Two? No. One family. But how many gods? Three gods in that no, family. it's one, <laughs> one God. These three are one. One God? When, when, when two, okay. When two, are they one God? When two people get listen, when, listen, it's because you guys you're not you're not understanding the spiritual what happens in the spirit world. Right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, when two people get married, the Bible says they come together as one. Yeah. So they they're one now. There's two persons within Good. that marriage. I have no one. I have no so problem that's with the that. Concept that. I'm trying to get you to understand. But I have so no problem like, with when that. When you saying Father, Son, Holy Spirit, it's one. You need to understand. One what? It's just one. One what? One God. Good. So you said one God one right so let's let's understand something finally you're saying the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit together when they're together in unity that's one God no I'm saying these three are one that's no what I'm no saying. they make one God no these three are one one what they are God one God yes there's only one God good so together that's one God individually how much of God are they not, they're not individual. They're, they are individual. They are, when, when the Bible separates what, them. The Bible says the Son speaks. By persons and functions, but right. they are one. Is the Father one God or one third God?